Welcome, and thanks for joining us today. You're listening to the Women's Broadcast Television Network, the Expert Spotlight Show, and I'm your host, Shavon. WBTVN is the all women's uh, television network for content that's actually created by women and for women. And today joining us on our WBTVN Expert Spotlight Show is Paulina Lopez. She's an author, a speaker, a confidence coach, and also business strategist. Welcome to our show, Paulina. Well, thank you so much, Sean, for having me. I'm grateful to be here, and I love the show. I love what you're doing for women. So I'm excited to be here, and I'm excited to connect. Well, we're excited to have you. And you've got a lot that's going on, and we're going to talk about you know, some of that. But first and foremost, I just really want the audience to get to know what a cool girl you are. <laughs> and um, So you know, tell me a little bit about growing up, and how did you get to where you are right now? Beautiful. Well, thanks for asking. Well, I'm coming from New York City, and I'm glad to connect with uh, California. But I grew up here in New York City, been a Brooklyn, Queens girl, and I, uh, just like anyone else, always thought my entrepreneurial journey was going to start very early on, when we're like, ready to hit the ground running right after college. But instead, of course, um, our parents have a different plan, so we go into corporate, corporate and we go to that, uh, that path that they choose for us, and since we're young and we don't know any better, we kind of uh, go through that. But it's also an experience, an amazing experience that without a doubt, I'm very grateful for. Yeah. Uh, so my, yeah, my professional background is in finance and human resources, which again gave me some really valuable experience. But I also saw some things there that opened up my eyes, opened up my world, specifically with human resources, because I was able to see firsthand how true potential was being denied opportunity based on how they looked on paper. And that to me was such an eye opener because as uh, doing the interview process as a recruiter, I noticed that it was all about energy and how you show up. And some of these people were just ready to roll up their sleeves, get to work, and they had such passion. They were driven. They had that fire in their belly. <laughs> but what we you know how it is. I get and, excited already. <laughs> yeah, so they roll up their sleeves and, and they think the job is theirs and they have no doubt that they can do the job to the best of their ability. But if they don't have the expertise or if they, you know, the higher ups don't quite see the potential there on, in, on paper, they don't get the opportunity. And that really, they really did hit home. And uh, I got so passionate about the human potential. So I came upon this world of, coaching which I had never heard of and um, per that personal development piece which was um, really up and coming back in uh, 2005 2007 and it um, it started my entrepreneurial journey so I started by making it a side hustle by uh, helping entrepreneurs and small business owners grow their business creating those systems and structures and one day I woke up and I said I have to do this for myself and more importantly for women so I launched my uh, business coaching in 2003. I was on my 40th birthday, so I'm aging myself here. <laughs> and it was my, it was a gift to me to finally have that freedom that I was looking for, freedom over my time. Also, give myself permission to do something um, and create that impact. So that's where I am today. You know, you said so many different things I wanted to comment on, and one of them was that you finally ended up taking your own advice. Mm. Giving, you were giving all of this great advice to, you know, the coaches, and you went, you know, I'm, this is what I need to do. I need to, to move in a different direction or take it to a different level. And so you took your, your own advice. I loved when you were talking about your parents, and they have a whole plan for us, right? They always do. <laughs> they always do. But... I, I don't always think, however, and that it's not saying that it's right, wrong, or indifferent. It's just that I think that um, everybody's different and not one size fits all. Correct. And, um, but you kind of like took their guidance. Sounds like they were great parents and they loved you to death and they wanted to give you the right guidance. But so many times and the purpose of wanting to give the right uh, guidance, especially to our kids, you know, it's what we think is the right thing to do. But, and it's not that they don't know you, but do they really know what your passion, if you really had that sit down talk and say, you know, I know that you want have my, my back, that you have my best interest, at, you know, at hand, 
and yet my passion really lies in different areas and I I, I want to please you and I'm doing this if I do this I feel like I'm doing it not for me but for you absolutely and is so that you know, really what you want me to do exactly exactly so you well, know we don't know how to handle those things at that time do we we don't we don't, don't. We're, we're naive mm -hmm. yeah and th and that's okay because maybe it's a better path to know that wasn't really what you wanted but you actually ended up turning it around to be exactly what you wanted yes. and you learned along the way so the one thing i wanted to ask you uh paulina also is um what's your background in finance well with finance it was more about creating systems and structures and streamlining those operations so most of it was bookkeeping and um, auditing and I even got to uh, do some estates, trust, and foundations, was, which was quite interesting in some tax work. Right. So it was an amazing journey. I learned a lot, I have to say. You, you do. And you, the other thing that you take with you on those kinds of journeys is that you learned what you need to do with your own business to be yeah. on top of it. Absolutely. Because yeah. so many entrepreneurs are creative and you know, just so passionate about their businesses and whatever, but they forget that maybe they need to hire somebody yeah. that's going to do the stuff that they don't want to deal with. Absolutely. And outsourcing is key it's if you key. want to focus on creating that impact. Yes. Yeah. And so tell me about when you talk about confidence um, coaching. I mean, I do know that I totally understand that we all need to have confidence to be able to uh, help someone to get, you know, past the barriers that are holding them back, that they need to have the confidence to be able to move forward. So mm -hmm. I get that. But what I'm asking you specifically is, what are some of those barriers? What's the main thing that you hear from people that you need to help them with to build that confidence? Yes, well, to me, confidence is actually that fundamental piece that has to be put into place immediately because it's really about being able to set those boundaries early on, be able to be the leader in your industry, being able to um, impact that other person and influence that person to let them know, yes, it is time for them to invest in themselves. And you have to lead yourself before you can lead others. So for me personally, I have to say is, <laughs> oops, was that me? <laughs> so you wanted to say what? I'm sorry, I think I just, I think I'm coming back here. Do you hear me? I do. I, I, I've been hearing you all along, so. Okay. Yeah, just, just the, yeah. the same way. So um, for me, that fundamental piece um, came when I myself was trying to grow my business. And sure enough, I um, was creating those systems and structures. I was focusing on hiding behind my computer, hiding behind making things perfect. And we all know that that just doesn't uh, generate any type of income. If anything, that stalls us and keeps us stagnant. It does, doesn't. I'm so glad that you're saying that because it is a stall. I yeah. mean, perfection is, is, is something that gets in our way. We want to do our best job. We want to, you know, show up and know what we're talking about. We want to mm -hmm. impact other people to, you know, to, to their greatness, which they have inside. It's just waiting to come out. But yeah, but when we think that, what, and, and, and you know, the other side of that is perfection is different to different people. Some people yeah. like anything else in life, they can take it to such, such a level that mm. nobody could meet those qualifications or, or accomplish that. So yeah. we have to be careful with those kinds of things. So we put, sometimes put a lot of pressure on ourselves and it causes us a lot of stress. It does. And I'm so glad that you mentioned that because that is the key thing. It is a different journey. It is a personal journey for others. And that's why I make sure that that confidence is there first before anything. Because when you're creating a business, you're growing a business and launching a business, there's those steps that need to be put into place so you can have the income coming in, right? And that is that, yeah, being able to see the prices. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've noticed with specifically with women, they they want to give away the farm. They want to get so many things for free. But when you're that influencer, you're the industry expert, you have to set your prices accordingly and you have to have the confidence to do it. And it's not about uh, not lacking that emotional maturity because it's, everything is how you approach it. Everything is how you communicate it. Right. And 
the only way that you can facilitate that that sale or I like to call it that service. The way you can facilitate that service is being the leader, taking that leadership role and saying, listen, if you came to me because you wanted this, I now have to hold you accountable and I have to handhold to make sure that you don't keep yourself from what you want, what the universe is conspiring you to do based on what you want. Right. So it really comes down to not giving up on these people. Right. Not up because we all know that money is a big issue for a lot of big issue and most Indeed. people just they want to make it they don't really know how to go about it they actually have the tools and the, and, and 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 the uh probably the products correct the services that um that they need but they don't know how to go about marketing and that's why it's really important in any business to put a plan together, which I'm sure you talked to them about. And part of that plan is their marketing and how they're going to do certain things. Because as you put those things in place, mm. there's where the confidence comes that, yeah, I'm going to be able to, you know, present this. I am going to make sales on it. I'm going to make my business successful. All of those things. Uh, and, you know, selling something isn't, isn't a bad thing. It's a good thing. Especially if somebody needs it and wants it, yes. then you're really, you know, at the at, at the top of the, the the mountain on that, and and that's really what we're out there to do is to whether it's our services or products that we that we have that are helpful, um, mm -hmm. those are the key things that you want to do. And it sounds like that's the plan and helping mm -hmm. put put that together. And there's where the confidence comes in because as each piece goes into that puzzle and it right. starts to take form, right. wow. What a difference yeah. that makes. That makes a huge difference. And I love what you share about the systems and structure because, yes, there's a part of us in business. We do have to run it some sort of in, ma in our masculine, as we all like to say. But that's the kind of that's the part where you get to outsource and leave that to the experts. So yeah. you focus on what you do best. Exactly. And even even what you shared earlier about the fact that um, the sale has to happen. Everything is energy, no matter what it is that you're doing. Mm -hmm. When you give that other person permission to invest in themselves, it has nothing to do with you. You step back. You step back. You're just the facilitator. They get to invest in themselves through you. So you become that, um, you know, the creator's using you to empower that other person through your gifts and talents. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when we are confident, the truth of the matter is, is that we actually, you know, give, um, uh, we have energy and we can share that energy with someone that, you know, maybe doesn't have as much energy right then and there. Right. Yeah. Right. And, and that's, an, that's really important because they're there to take your energy anyway. They don't know it, but that's what happens when somebody is just so down, so whatever, or, or the opposite side of that, you know, so assured and so whatever that it's like you kind of back off and, you know, and, and you've got all of those different situations that you have to deal with. So right. I want to talk to you a little bit about your, your business strategy. So obviously the, what you mentioned is the confidence is first and foremost. Absolutely. I think getting the plan and getting the, the, uh, the uh, confidence is, is uh, an, another way to say that same thing. And mm -hmm. business strategist, so you actually sit and put a plan together as far as business is concerned. And what, if, if so, what are some of the, the tools and things that you think are important to be to put your business together and to have make it successful? Absolutely. And as you know, once we get that confidence powered up, that's when the fun begins. Because now you're able to um, be able to take inspired action in your business because you're confidence is there. So I always say, you know what, now we can hit the ground running. Now we can implement things. Because the key is, there's a lot of information out there to take in as a business owner. And you'll stop yourself if you haven't gotten to that level of confidence where you're going to do something about it. So the fun begins when you're able to sit down, make a business plan, be able to set your prices, be able to know your numbers, be able to create the systems and structures, the process that's required to grow your business, being able to uh, outsource, delegate, hire the team, grow the business, take it to the next level. Who do I need to collaborate with? Who do I need to partner with? Everything is a step. Everything is a system. Right. But that system has to be followed. And I love to just hold my client's hand and hold them accountable. 
I can just see you doing that right now. You know, I'm looking across that table and standing next to them and giving them confidence that they're not alone, that yeah. you know, they came to you for a reason and a purpose and you're going to provide that and, and, and the two of you can do that together, which actually brings me into the business of we, which is your brand. And, you know, it's so catchy because it's so true. Everybody wants to have a successful business. And I think that the we adds that nobody can do it alone. I don't care who it is. I don't care how good they are. They're, they're not going to do it alone. And so the we tells them right off the bat that there's partnerships, that there's people that you're going to have to hire that are going to do things that you shouldn't be doing that because you're not good at it. And if right. you think you're, that you're going to tackle it and, and be good at it, you're just kidding yourself. It's not going to obviously change from, no, I can't, I'm not good at this to, wow, I'm going to make this happen Absolutely. Um, because it doesn't work that way. And I definitely think that the, the business of we is about building that business with the right team, with the experts and all the things that you talked about. How did you come up with that? So that came when everyone just started calling me this master connector. Cause as a business strategist, once you get to that point where you're, uh, um, establishing those collaborative connections and partnerships, then that's when everything just expands to this new level. So I, I came together with a business partner because that's how we do when we, when we start growing you. Hey, there's the sisterhood, the community. And we launched the business of we, we for women entrepreneurs. And it has been such a passion project for us because now we have a community of women here in the tri-state area you know, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, uh, even outside, some of outside of that. And we have been able to uh, host events, put women together, bring in industry experts and leaders to now support us in providing the tools, the tips, the resources that these women need to expand in their businesses. So it really is about collective energy, collaborative connections, partnerships, who can you partner up with? And remember, we don't believe in, in, in competition. No. Everything is co yeah, co collective energy. Someone else is doing the same thing you are. That is the person you want to leverage. You want to leverage that I'm energy. With them. Yeah, you're saying all the things that we say about WBTVN. And one of the reasons I love my partner, uh, Janie Rios, is because we share that concept that we, even if somebody's doing some of the th same things that we're doing, there's always something that you can find to partner with. There's always something that you can help to support with. And that's really what you're talking about. And women need to get rid of their jealousy, need to get rid of their sexuality to get to where they want to be. We're so past all of that. I've said that a number of times on my shows with other um, uh, interviewers. And, it, and, and I'm so glad to see us come together with mm -hmm. every time it comes comes out on on one of the, the the shows i'm actually grateful for that because it tells me that this is spreading out there that they are getting the message and that they do realize that partnership is so much better than jealousy beautiful yes and it has been we've gotten such an amazing response to that and we've been able to establish ourselves not just offline but now online through these events um so i wanted to share with you some of the events that we do host and how we're now expanding because we're always looking for speakers those industry experts whether they're featured on our site or just want to come to one of the events and serve the women the community so our annual summit which was the very first event that we put together for the business of we last year happens every fall here in new york city okay and Coming up, that's um, I'm really excited to announce is our annual retreat is going to take uh, place every spring. So that's coming up next month. That's coming up April the 27th. Yes. Yeah. I am. And you're going to be doing this in, uh, where are you going? You're um, going out of the country. To the Dominican Republic. Yes, we're taking oh. it to the Caribbean. I mean, how much fun is that? Now, yeah. is it a three-day, two-day, or what is the time frame on those retreats? Sure. So it's a three-night, four-day, all-inclusive, adults-only luxury resort where we're going to get those actionable steps. We're going to have workshops, uh, speakers, industry uh, experts providing that wellness aspect and what it is that we need to do to balance out in our business. 
because it's not just about being in that masculine and, and running crazy Absolutely. and all the structures in place. We need to make sure everything gets balanced out. We need to take care of ourselves so we can continue to serve others, specifically our family, because we know how women do it when it comes to taking care of our children, taking care of our partners. We're always focusing on everyone else but ourselves. So this is going to be a perfect opportunity for those women that are ready to do this, step away from their businesses, take a little mini break from hubby and the children, and just have an amazing time together, connecting with other like-minded women, being able to get those actionable steps and hear from our industry experts. So I'm really excited about that. And I know, Shay, you're coming next year, right? Yes, you're yes, to speak I next definitely year. want to do that. And, um, <laughs> Yeah, and when you have your event um, in uh, New York or whatever, too, when you do one of those events, I want to be there. I want to be there for, for everybody and uh, definitely spread the word about WBTVN. And mm. um, I know that you're considering coming on as a host, and we would love to have you because we think that you would just be, bring so much sunshine uh, oh. to the channel. So, um, you know, one of the things also that I wanted to talk to you about is, um, is there, a, you know, do you have a general cost that you can give? Because this is all inclusive. So let's just tell them what it's going to cost them to, to come and do this retreat. Absolutely. And we wanted to make sure that it was cost effective for everyone. So they Absolutely. do take this opportunity for themselves. So um, the three night, four day, all inclusive includes your meals, your drinks, and of course, all the workshops, swag bags, cocktail parties, all that fun stuff. Um, the, the double occupancy rate is at 975 per person. If you want to come by yourself and you need a little break, you want to stay in your own room, that's totally fine. And that single occupancy is at $11.95. Okay. Three nights, four days. You do have to get your airfare and just meet us in the Dominican Republic. I think that's more than a fair, uh, affordable because the truth of the matter is here's a time to have a, uh, an opportunity to escape. And it's okay to escape, you know, it's okay to get away from business and all the things that we do on a, on a daily basis and, and treat ourselves. But here's what I love about it, is that you've got experts there that are going to talk about business, entrepreneurship, cover leadership, all of the stuff that they need to. And also, I know that you will recommend, like if they're missing something, they need somebody to do something, you've got a whole list of people that you can actually introduce them to so that they're not out there by themselves they don't have to do it by themselves and 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 we can we can help you we can hold hands um and and and, and do that together and i i love that i love the concept and i think that we do i think that we all need to do at least two of those kinds of trips uh, a year that doesn't t t life goes by so fast it does. And, um and you'll never regret what you do you'll only regret when you don't do it because you don't really know what you're missing. And, you know, uh, if I didn't have other events on that particular day, um, you know, because I learned about it, you know, later and it's coming up sooner than what we think, um, I'm still trying to figure out how to work around this and, 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 and show up and maybe I'll get that opportunity to do that because I would love, I'd love to be there. Would love yeah. to be there. Yeah, I love all the people that you've got and the experts that are going to be there. And you know what? It's okay. I want to come and pamper myself a little bit too. You know, it's okay. Um, so tell me, like, I want you to leave the show with, you know, you've given so many great advice and whatever, but what would you say to somebody if they need some help or whatever? Um, what, would, what would be your wisdom to them? Mm. I always say, invest in yourself, mm. always invest in you. You really are your greatest asset because once you've been able to have that self mastery to pursue the opportunities to step through those challenges and to most importantly, just continue to impact others and grow, that, there's just nothing out like, like that. I mean, it really is priceless. So I always say invest in you, whatever it is, even if it's just picking up a book and reading, taking some time to meditate, making sure that you're eating right, get, take an extra nap on the weekend <laughs> and yeah. just yeah, take care of yourself, invest in you. And then you show up so differently for others. Others will notice it. Others will all notice it. And that's where it becomes key. 
because when people start coming to you and they say, wow, something's different about you, something's changed, then you know that, you know what, you set that boundary and you're, uh, you're really just honing in on what can I continue to do for myself so I can show up as the best version of myself. Uh, you know, and I think we all want to do that. And I think more importantly, and, or equally as important, is that we want to show up with like-minded people, yes. you know, women that are looking for the same things that have the same struggles so that you know that you're not alone because, you know, the business of we helps you to have the partnerships and helps you to have the relationships that you need to build your business. Yeah, uh, Paulina, I just want to, Thank you from the bottom of my heart for having you on the show today as an expert spotlight. Oh, and to you, um, uh, uh, expert. And I just want to thank the audience, as I always do, because I'm so grateful that you tune in and, and you listen to these uh, wonderful experts that have so much wisdom and, and, and uh, so much intelligence that they you know, pass along to us. Um, if you're interested in the show, uh, to be... Um, featured on our WBTVN Expert Spotlight Show, go to WBTVN.tv, and there's a form there, fill it out, and we will get back to you. So until the next time, um, thank you guys so much for being part of the show and for tuning in. And uh, Paulina, blessings to you, dear. Blessings to you, my dear. Mm -hmm. Much love. Uh, you too. Bye-bye now.